Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Wager Talk with your Week 11 Ratchet game. And after the Raiders found a way to crush us again and losing the first-time head coach Jeff Saturday and the banged-up Indianapolis Colts, we've slipped to 500 and are in danger of our first losing record in well over a year on Ratchet Plays after last season's 12-4 and run on these games, which for the uninitiated take the worst or second-worst matchup on the NFL's weekly schedule and aims to make money off it. The fall from grace reminds us of the Los Angeles Rams, so it's not really a coincidence that the defending Super Bowl champs are in the mix this week as they visit the three and seven Saints. Both teams are bringing up the rear in their respective divisions thanks to losing streaks with New Orleans tied with Carolina in the NFC South basement. But because the division leading Bucks are only five and five, the Saints are actually in much better shape than the Rams, who will be without wide receiver Cooper Cup after midweek ankle surgery for at least the next four weeks, and they are not likely to rush him back anytime soon if they're eliminated by the time he's ready to come back in mid-December unless L.A. manages to turn things around without their best offensive player. There's no point in unwrapping Cup as an early Christmas present. Best to keep him under wraps and get him healthy for 2023. And uh, although we've seen the uh, defending Super Bowl champs fight, because they were down 17-3 against the uh, Cardinals last week. It it remains to be seen whether they have enough fight to claw back into the NFC race. We've seen the Super Bowl hangover trip up the 2009 Steelers, the 2012 Giants, the 2013 Ravens, and the 2016 Broncos, but it's been a minute since we've seen a team fall as spectacularly as the Rams seem destined to. The 2018 Eagles struggled, but they snuck into the playoffs as a wild card, and the three champs that have gone on after that are a combined 39-10 and the next season. So the Super Bowl hangover has been uh, dormant over the past few seasons. The Rams are bringing it back with a fury. Uh, They look to be the 10th team since the 1990 Giants to miss the postseason after winning it all. And they don't have much room for error if they're going to avoid that, considering next Sunday's game is at Arrowhead against the Mighty Chiefs. Matthew Stafford opened the week in concussion protocol, so his availability for this game against New Orleans remains up in the air. Backup John Wolford would start. He threw for 212 yards, a touchdown, and a pick in the loss to Arizona. Dual threat Bryce Perkins is waiting in the wings. Who knows if Sean McVay uh, gets creative and goes that route. Uh, but the Cardinals shut down the uh, the Rams' running game. They held them to 66 total yards on 20 carries. Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson combined for just 43 yards on 12 carries. And it, it looks like the Rams' offense uh, is a, a shell of its former self, especially without Cup. Uh, Van Jefferson, Allen Robinson, Ben Skoranek, and tight end Tyler Higby will look to fill Cup's enormous shoes. Uh, and it, and the uh, L.A. offensive line has been a problem all season. So it doesn't look good for the Rams to bounce back. They can hang around with their defense, however. And any unit led by Aaron Donald and Leonard Floyd, Bobby Wagner, and Jalen Ramsey can carry a team for a little while. So we won't write off the Rams in this game, although we don't think they beat the Chiefs next week. The Saints just lost to rookie QB Kenny Pickett, and they've scored 23 points over the last two games themselves, falling to the Ravens and Steelers by double digits. It remains to be seen whether Andy Dalton will keep the QB gig or whether they'll go to Taysom Hill full-time or Jameis Winston will get his job back. So, you know, they're a big cluster, you know what, themselves. 20 points should be enough to win this bad boy, and neither team may get that since New Orleans strength is on the defensive side as well, especially if they get cornerback Marcus Lattimore back in the lineup. Ride the under on 39 total points in this truly ratchet game that nobody saw coming with the Rams and the Saints. For Wager Talk, I'm Tony Mejia.